Almost everybody complains about gas prices, but how many people try to do something about it? News Center Scott Sassone found a man with a plan and a vehicle that could take him a long way. Cruising the streets of Camden, Jory Squibb is enjoying his new convertible. Oh, you get a lot of smiles driving, driving it around. He really enjoys his trips to the gas station. Well, it's got a two-gallon uh, tank, so it'll go almost 200 miles on a fill-up. No, it's not the latest hybrid from Japan. Technically, it's not even a car. It's a micro car called the Moonbeam. It basically uh, is a, a part of a tradition of a very light... Uh, very low powered vehicle for use around town. This is the sliding canopy. Uh, the 65 year old handyman created the moonbeam using parts from old motor scooters and one very useful tool. Just Google whatever your question is. All of a sudden there's pages of stuff there. Jory Squibb has been around cars all his life. He grew up outside of Detroit. His father worked for General Motors. He says his little car took him $2,500 and 1,000 hours to build. He says it's not pretty, but it's practical. It's just a natural idea that you can do a lot of your erranding in a very light vehicle. Uh, you really don't need a couple tons to go to the grocery store or go to the doctor. You know, it really it takes very little to move you around. It does pretty well with two people in it. It has handlebars, drives like a motorcycle, and reaches speeds of 50 plus miles per hour. Jory is an advocate for alternative fuels, but he feels gasoline gets a bad rap. Gasoline is an incredibly concentrated form of energy, which is actually very cheap. We think of it as expensive because we use so much of it. Jory is already planning ahead for main winter, adding a heater and a windshield wiper. I want to put snow tires on it this winter. He says he would love to see a moonbeam in every driveway. I think they very much have a place in our society, and I'd love it if some manufacturer would spot this thing and come along and say, well, I'm going to make it. I'm going to produce those things. Until that day, he'll keep putting along, showing off his creation and saving gas. In Camden, Scott's his own new center. Jory Squibb loaded up Moonbeam this morning for a trip to the Santa Monica Alternative Car Expo. The expo is the largest gathering of alternative fuel vehicles in the world.